This video is brought to you by Wix. The road to success starts with a clear outline of who you are, what you do, and who you help. Nothing communicates this better to a prospective customer or client than a classy, clean, and concise website. Today, I'm going to create a warm and sophisticated website to house my brand and business as a digital creator. Click the link in the description below to join me in sifting through inspiration and templates for your own website. Today, I'm going to walk you through step by step of how to create and build your own website using Wix. If you haven't already, click the link in the description and join me as I build my own website from scratch. Let's follow the prompt and get started. Sign up over here. Fill in your details and click sign up. Let's provide Wix with information to assist them in providing us the templates that fit our business best. I'm creating a website for myself as a digital creator. It's for my business, but you click on the appropriate option for what it is that you're looking for. Finally, select your website building experience. We want to pick our own templates, so let's select the start now option. This is probably the best time to get an idea of the pricing options. I know from personal experience that I prefer a one-stop shop, so the idea of a plan that includes a free custom domain, enough bandwidth, and enough storage space, well this is an option that I would go for. I've built a few websites using the unlimited option, and it's been more than sufficient for me. However, you need to go through the options and find the one that is right for you. There are also business and e-commerce plans that you could consider. In a future tutorial, I will walk you through creating an e-commerce store. However, this tutorial is more geared to the website plan options. Select your plan and let's get a little further into the process of creating my website now. We have a selection of templates that we can scroll through. Because I specified that I want a website for my business, Wix has provided me with some ideas that fit the look and feel that I'm hoping to achieve. If I want to get a better idea of what my site may look like, I can hover over a template I like and click on the view option. Now I'm able to see a further demo of the template and if I like it, I can get straight to editing it from here. At this point, the first thing I like to do is find a couple of templates that are aesthetically appealing to me. I try to find two or three options that I really like. So let's jump through the templates and find some of these together. Focus and simplicity, this is what I'm after and this is what this template is providing. If you are an influencer, service provider, consultant, or business or life coach, these are some ideas of templates that I really like, which may appeal to you as well. Let's take some time to explore these templates, view them, and see if this is something that we like. So we've seen a couple of templates that are really beautiful. Now how I go about making my final decision is by screening the templates I really like again for the final time and more so than looking at color or feel. I focus on what content I have or what content I'm able to get together quickly so that it's easy for me to slip this content into the fields that are already provided within the templates. So personally, I like simplicity and I like focus. And this is the template I feel that best fits the content I already have or can easily create. And I also love the way that it looks. My experience as a marketing manager and project manager of a digital agency, as well as my own experience of building my own website over the last couple of years, this has all helped me identify what is most important for us to focus on before we even start editing any template. And I'm gonna share that with you now. Now, before I even click on the editing option, I like to just triple check that I have the content or can easily create the content that this template requires. Let's do a quick check before we head on that edit option. So if I can give you a great tip, a giant tip, when it comes to creating your own website, more than focusing on the look, 
find a template that fits the content that you have or can easily create. You may fall in love with a template, but then find that this template that you've fallen in love with requires you to create additional pages and focus on customizing the template quite a lot, which involves a lot of organization and additional time and may even add a little bit of stress to your life. And this is just something to be mindful of. So what I suggest is finding a template that requires minimal additional effort from your part. There's nothing more motivating than finding that you have the content and you can can create the content for the template that you love and this is going to motivate you to get to working on your website and see you finishing it a lot quicker than if you found something you loved that requires a lot of additional work additional pages and additional customization so if we have to look at the website template that I've chosen you can see that there are only four areas that I really need to focus on I need to first take a bunch of photos that I feel would best showcase who I am what I do and who I help I need to create some content for the about services and other text sections next I have to consider if I'm going to be wanting to leave people off of my website and if I am I need to be mindful of the specific links I need whether it's to my YouTube channel to my podcast or even just social media links and lastly after I've got my images my content as well as any links I think about the color scheme I save that for last but feel free to shuffle up the order or add anything else that you might need when it comes to the template that you're using for your website. So once you know what you need and once you know when you're able to outline when you're able to create your additional content, then you're about ready to go. All right, let's have a brief introduction into the Wix toolbox. <laughs> I like to call it that. It's the menu on the left hand side. And from here we can change a few things. We can Adjust this according to the template that you have chosen. This is where you can customize or add pages. Because I have a minimalist one page site, my menu is on my home page. I can manage my menu by clicking here. We will do this together in a moment because I will be renaming some of the menu options on my website. If we go back into the pages menu, if we click on the three dots, you will see that there are options. These options include SEO, the option to copy, the option to rename, the option to hide or remove. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as I will be diving into Wix SEO in a future video. You can also manage the page transitions over here as well. Let's move on to the next one over there. This is where you can change the background. And in a few moments, we will be doing this together, but we'll be doing it directly from the editor. When it comes to changing the background, we can change the color, we can change it into an image, or we can change it into a video. And like I said, we'll be doing this together in a few moments. This icon is home to some of my favorite additions. You are able to add a strip. Here are some examples of what you can add. Once you add these to your site, you can change the pictures and the text so that it best fits the look and feel you're going after. You can add text, titles, and paragraphs. You are able to add images. Later, I will show you how I use a combination of my own images as well as the Wix images. You are able to add your own social media collections too, which is a lovely feature. There are a variety of button options for you to scan through, scroll and find the type of call to action you are searching for. As you can see, you have many options. You are able to add a gallery too. There are image only options, image and text options, as well as sliders for you to select. You can also add a decorative element to truly customize your website. Add lines, shapes, arrows, icons, logos, and badges as you see fit. The video box and the video mask option are also interesting to consider. You are able to add an interactive element. My favorite would be their promotion and contact options. I'm going to show you the list and grid additions now. Later, we will be changing the template to include one of these. I'm sure by now you have a good idea that there are many different elements that you are able to add to your website. I'm not going to be overly customizing my website as I'm very happy with the template I decided on. But should you want to add any further items to your site, this is where you will find your additions. We're going to hop over to the next icon now, and this is where you are able to adjust the color theme as well as the text used in your website. 
Then this is the Wix app market. I have personally used Wix Forms in the past, which is a great app for building an email list, but there are many options of apps you may like to consider too. If you're in the world of print on demand, if you have an online store, depending on what you're looking for, there is probably an app for you in the store. Next, we have Wix Media. Here you can edit images or even create your own videos. I haven't personally created my own videos in Wix, but this seems pretty exciting, something I'd like to try in the future. Next, we have the blog option. If you would like to include a blog element, you just click over here. And we conclude the brief intro to the Wix menu by visiting the bookings manager, where you're able to add bookings elements. And like I mentioned, in a future video, I will be discussing SEO but this icon provides you with insights into marketing and SEO tools that you have at your disposal. Now that we've got our bearings, let's edit the template and create my website. All right, first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change the logo. I don't have a logo. My name, at least for the time being, is my logo. I kind of feel if it isn't serving a purpose, it shouldn't be there and my name looks good as my logo. <laughs> At least I think so. <laughs> now I'm just going to edit the text. As you can see, I'm sure you're familiar with these fields. You are able to edit the size, you are able to edit the font. So I'm just going to add my name, Marguerite Fora. I'm going to go ahead and edit the second text field and add digital content creator. The next thing I want to go ahead and do is I want to change the background. So I'm going to click on that button over there, change the background, and there is the option, we're familiar with this pop-up of color, image, or video. I'm gonna select image, and I want to upload my own image. So you just head over to the top over there, upload media. I'm going to upload a file from my hard drive, or you can also just drop the image here. You can keep your eye on the little box at the bottom there, bottom left-hand side, that will just show you if your media is uploading. And once it is uploaded, there we go, you can see it. So there are actions like cropping and editing your image, adjusting the image, creating a video. You can even cut out the background. I'm happy with my image though, but I might want to just change the tags. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, because I will explain why changing these tags and changing the name of your image can be helpful to SEO, but that will be in a future video. But now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button at the bottom right hand corner to add my image and change my background. Here is my new background. What I want to do is I just wanna hit the settings button on the left hand side and over here I'm able to adjust the opacity. So I want to darken this image just a little bit. I want it to be at about 90. Now I'm happy with my background, I just want to move the text. I can easily select the text and just move it over to the left hand side and this I think is a style that I really like. It's nice that we get to move things around and customize things according to our own style. Alright, I'm going to scroll down now and I'm going to work on the social bar. I'm going to set some social links so that it fits the social media that I have. First things first, I don't use Facebook, so I'm just gonna go and change the icon. I'm just gonna type in YouTube, and I'm looking for consistent branding, so the white circle around the play button, this is exactly the look I'm going for. And I can also change the link. I'm just gonna go over to my YouTube channel, copy and paste my link, and add it so that if you click on the YouTube icon, you will go through to my YouTube channel. I'm going to do the same process with Pinterest. I don't need to change the icon. I just need to add the link. I don't use Instagram. I prefer long form content, but I do have a podcast on Spotify. So I can find it by just clicking on the drop down. And again, I want that consistency. So the white circle, that's what I'm looking for. Now that I've changed the icon, again, I just want to go fetch my link, add my Spotify link, and hit the done button. There we go, my social links are now updated. Now I wanna change the background of the next strip, and I click on change strip background. Again, I have a image that I would like to use here. And it's not my own image, it's actually media from Wix. So this is a great time to use stock photography, 
and I'll show you how. I've typed in laptop and I'm going to change the background so that it is this laptop image. But as you can see, you can't see the text and I'm going to hit the settings button, change the background color so that it's dark and then change the opacity to around 10%. And as you can see, the text pops now. I really like this. So the next thing I'm going to do now that I'm happy with the background is I want to change the number of services. I only offer two services currently, so I'm just going to select the first option, delete it, and then click on the options here, just hold shift so that it selects all of them and move it. And I can use the grid lines to help me get an idea of where it would best fit. And as you can see, I've moved the first one and I'm just going to do the same with the second one. There we go, good fit, I like this. Now I wanna change the icon so that it's relevant to what I am offering. So change basic shape. And I'm gonna type in online tutorial. And I want to look at the vector art options. I like this first option over here, I'm going to click on it. I'm gonna head over to the design icon, click on it, and then change the colors so that it fits the vibe I've got on this website, which is a white, a light gray, and a dark gray. Now I'm going to edit the text and include my first service, which is educational tutorials. And then I'm going to select the text below, edit it. And I'm sure you're familiar with these fields. I'm going to align my text so that it's to the left and I'm going to add some bullets just so that I can specify exactly what I mean by educational tutorials. Now I'm moving over to the second option and I want to change the basic shape again. I'm going to select vector art and this design I think is fitting. Again, I'm just changing the colors so that there is continuity. And I'm editing the text for my second service, which is short films. And again, I'm going to edit the text, align it to the left hand side and add some bullets. And then again, just specify exactly what I mean by the service. And then I'm going to click out. And I like this strip. I think it's beautiful. You can see the text and the background image is relevant. All right, moving on to the next strip. I'm going to change the background first and I'm going to use media from Wix again. I'm going to choose this picture. Again, I'm going to adjust the settings of the image. I like the white background and again I'm going to adjust the opacity to about 10% and there we have a new background. Now I'm going to change the text of the heading from our work to my work and I'm just going to edit this text and peek into my world of content creation. I'm just going to delete this element and I'm going to add a new element. Now as I mentioned at the beginning we, we just had the plus icon on the left hand side over there. I'm going to select list and grids. There's a lot of options over here, but I've got my eye on this one over here. I like this. Now I just want to give people a brief snippet of my work because they can go over to YouTube to see a lot more. But I'm going to need to stretch this element over here because as you can see, the grid that I've selected is a lot bigger than the background. I'm going to use the stretch handle because it allows me to stretch this element but still keep the original design of the template. First thing I want to do is I want to change the design of this line over here. I'm going to customize it so that it falls within the color theme. And next I'm going to change the titles to the specific tutorials that I'm going to showcase. I just click on the title, edit the text, and I'm going to adjust every element on this grid so that it is fitting to the specific tutorial that I am talking about. I'm just going to work my way through and first edit all of the text before I change the images. And I'm going to fast forward through this part because by now I'm sure you are comfortable with how to edit the text. Now that I've edited the text and I'm happy, I want to change the images so that it's a picture of me. And I'm going to upload images from a file on my hard drive. And I'm going to add these images one by one to the image fields. I've already made sure that it is a square image, but you are able to crop the images if you just click on it and click on the crop and edit 
option on the right hand side there. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure that there's the same filter on all of the images. So I'm going to click on the filter icon and I can just play around. The gray I think is too dark. It needs a pop of color, but not so bright. Maybe this Gothic. Yeah, that's quite nice. There's a couple of options. I'm just going to play around. I'm happy with this one. This one's best. <laughs> I like the look of this one the most, so I'm going to stick with this. And then I just click out and there we go. All of the images have the same filter now. But now I want these images to link to the relevant tutorials on YouTube. So I just click on the link option, click on web address. I want it to display in a new window and I just head over to YouTube, capture the link as I did before and just add all of the links. I'm going to do this with all of the images so that if somebody clicks on it, they'll be taken through to YouTube. But this is the process you would follow if you want these images to link somewhere. Now we're going to work on my about page and the first thing that we want to do is change the strip background and by now I think you've realized there's a certain color scheme I've got going here. So I'm just going to adjust the opacity so that it fits the color scheme. For me the writing needs to pop and I think that's what's happening here. I'm going to edit the text. I want it simple, just about. And now I'm going to copy and paste some text that I've already completed and this is just going to give people a little bit of information about me. I'm just going to adjust the size. I'm going to center align this text. I think this looks good. Off to the next section. And over here, I'm gonna change the strip background again to a picture that I've taken. And I'm going to upload it. And just for interest's sake, you are able to edit the name of your picture by just clicking on it over here and then typing in a name. And now I'm going to set it as the background. And again, <laughs> I'm just going to change the opacity just slightly on this one. Now for the final page on my website, the contact page. I love this cute little car, but it is not relevant to my website at all. So I'm going to delete it and change the background. And I'm going to use media from Wix. I like this desk and laptop. It's more the feel of the picture I like because I'm going to change the opacity so that it's quite dark so that the focus is more on what is on the contact form. And now I'm going to change the text to business inquiries. And I'm going to customize the form by just deleting text that's not relevant and dragging the different fields around until I'm happy with the look. I just want to adjust this so that it fits nicely. I'm going to delete this social bar and I'm going to go ahead and actually copy and paste the other social bar that we've already made with links all going to the relevant social media platforms. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it to the footer and then adjust it and use the grid lines to help me. I'm then going to just edit the text at the bottom Wow, I'm really proud of this website. It's just the last few things that I need to delete. I'm not going to have a login on my website and I just want to align my menu. And now I'm going to manage my menu. There are a couple of these pages that I need to rename so that it fits with what I've already got on my website. So our work to my work, about us to about, and contact I'm gonna leave as contact. Now, I could delete the book online page, but the app's already installed, so I'm just going to hide it instead. And then this is going to change the number of options that are on my menu at the top over there, as you can see. I just want to delete this chat box because I'm not going to have a chat box on my website. And now I just want to save and edit my site so that it looks good on mobile as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the text, change the size a little bit, move it around until I'm happy with the look. Next, I'm just going to adjust the size of the strip so that everything fits. I love working with this grid because it adjusts all of them so that they're the same. So by making an adjustment in the one, it changes everything. And then, yeah, I just want to change the sizing so that everything fits beautifully. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and preview it. Again, I'm really proud of this website. The next step is to hit publish. And if you haven't done so already, you can link your domain to admire your final creation. And before I show you my final website, oh, I just wanna take a second to again, thank Wix for sponsoring this video. When it comes to me learning new things, I often like to watch a tutorial the first time just to get an idea of what I'm getting myself into. So if you haven't created your website yet and you just watched this video the first time for a bit of an induction to what you can expect, then go ahead and check out the link in my description box so that the next time you watch this video, then you can build your website along with me. But now we're one moment closer to me revealing my final new website. And before I do, I just wanna thank you for spending your time with me and consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more content from me in the future. But now it's time for the big reveal. In three, two, one, my new website. So my goal was to create something that shows people who I am, what I do, and who I help. And I think this end goal has been achieved wonderfully. I'm proud of the minimalist look that this website has. It's clean, it's concise, it's to the point. I'm very proud of this website that we've created today. All the best, take care, and I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye.